Our first breakfast at Alden House was a delicious one. We came down in our PJs for a yummy cup of coffee, bananas with marmalade, eggs and bacon, and a delicious orange and coconut muffin. Then it was time to leisurely get ready for the day. Our first stop was an amazing local restaurant called Tomato Pie. Since Alden House is within walking distance to everything downtown, we decided to take advantage of that and just stroll our way over. It was a little toasty and roasty, but Lidditz is such a cute little town, it didn't even matter. We don't want to show you too much of tomato pie because we have a video just for them coming very soon. Afterwards, we decided to walk off our lunch by doing a little bit of shopping, and we stumbled into the cutest little shop called Pebbles and Lace. Have their information linked below and here's a fun little haul of the stuff we got while we were there hey everybody it's Joni B and Jenny B and we are in the Alden house in Livet Pennsylvania and so we woke up this morning had a great night's sleep delicious breakfast then we leisurely got ready then we walked to tomato pie which was I never had a tomato pie before. And you know what it was? It was a pie with tomatoes in it. Yes, it Don't ask me why that was a surprise to me, but it was. It's very good. It was good. And then, so we walked back, and so we're gonna be here tomorrow too. So today we were just kind of glancing, but there was this one shop who had a little table outside. And they had a notebook on it, and if you know Jenny B, you know I cannot resist a cute notebook. So we had to go shopping real quick. We went inside. And so we're gonna show you guys what we got, a little haul video. Yes, and the name of the little shop was Pebbles and Lace. And it was super cute. And it's on Main Street. And they do have a website, Pebble Pebbles and Lace dot site. And I'll have that linked in the description. Just like if you're just filming upon our videos, any place we go that we showcase in the video, I always have it linked below so you can check them out. Yes. So yeah. Awesome. You want to do your bag first? Oh, yeah. Did you have something extra cute here? Yes. I got a pillow. Oh, I didn't notice that. Sorry. It says, love you, a bushel and a peck, and a hug around the neck. And mom and granddaddy, her parents used to say that. All the time. And so, um, so it was a must purchase and it was nice and soft but yeah i had to get it so cute yeah i'd like to really hear those words right now from them but you know i can't so i have a pillow and it is from pennsylvania hey -o. so that's really good all right i'm gonna pull things off the top we got scrunchies i'm well, just we no i oh, yeah because they won't put in her hair i'm just now hopping on the scrunchie train and now i have a problem but i didn't have any velvet ones yet so we got a purpley pink one, a light pink one, and a really cute blue velvet one. And slightly funny story about the daisy one. When we first walked in, I saw it and Joni B was like, why don't you get it? And I was like, I don't need any more scrunchies. So I came back at the end of the shopping experience to grab it and it was gone. And I was like, oh gosh, I guess somebody really wanted it. She had grabbed it already. I got it already. So we got good scrunchies. Okay, so we got, whoop, whoop. So we we enjoy this brand, Zanana. Zanana. Um, so we got a pink one and a blue, blue one. And so, they're so comfortable. Yes. I will link them below as well because a lot of the shirts that we packed for our Europe trips last year were from Zanana because they're plain, easy to wear, super loose and comfy and breathable. Yes. And so, yeah, you, so you can accessorize. These are ones that you can dress up, dress down, so. We love a good basic around here. Yes. What's next? Oh, the notebook that we went in the store for to begin with. It has a cow on it, excuse me. Oh, it has a little cow on the back. It has a baby cow on the back, it's so cute. We found these in Europe when we were over there and I have a bunch of like little cards that have the designs on it. Don't have a notebook, not that I needed one, but cows remind me of our dog, Josh. For some reason, this reminds me of Josh. I don't know, they put it in a little bag. Okay, so this is going in our giveaway. Ooh. In our giveaway bag. We have a huge summer giveaway yeah. of little tidbits from our travels this summer. And if you want to get in on that and be a part of that giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe. Yes, because remember, it doesn't cost you nothing, nothing to hit, hit that, that button. button. 
and we're doing that giveaway at a thousand subscribers. So the faster y'all subscribe, the faster we can do this giveaway. And we're almost there. So then let's see. Oh, see, she didn't see some of this stuff because I got oh, it. I didn't see this. So this is a apple cinnamon soy candle. Oh my gosh, we never buy apple cinnamon candles. Never. Just like we don't have any scrunchies or no books. Oh, huh. touche. Okay, so funny story. Because, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh already. Because <laughs> you know, sometimes we're TMI. But last, oh, but last night, I go to the little girl's room. And so I brought something for the next time. It's a the apple cinnamon room spray that matches the candle. So yeah. hopefully that will help when I visit. Pre-spray. So I'll perfume the room before I <laughs> perfume the room. Okay. I haven't seen these yet either. Oh, are these stickers? Did you give us a sticker? No, I thought I got you two pair of earrings, but I guess I only got you one pair. Well, that's cute. I thought you had gotten the, um, there were a pair of lizard ones in the hallway. They were kind of funky. I thought that's what you got, but these are really cute. She also gave us a little sticker thing that says, love thy neighborhood, which is kind of cute. And her business card. I'm not sure if we met Rebecca, Chelsea, or Ruth. They're the owners, but hi, whichever one of you we met. So yes, thank you. Your shop was amazing. So we cute. loved it. There was items in there with local artists. Um, they had the flower sack material, um, which is very cool. Um, so if you're into that, then you should contact them because they have really a lot of pretty colors. Um, so yes, but you know when we go somewhere we like to shop local um, and they were very much a little local shop just all kinds of stuff and there was in the back because it was a downstairs it's a house like so they had the downstairs and then the upstairs but in the back of the downstairs they had an artist and Jennifer showed him to showed it to me they had a video rolling he paints on mushrooms which was the most insane thing I've ever seen said they're conks, so like it's like a special kind of mushroom. But it showed him picking them and how you have to dry them out. If I can find this information, I'll link him below because it was just really cool. And it's probably on their website too. So you but, should definitely check that out. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was pretty fascinating and how you have to you have to do it fast, but not too fast because if you do it too fast, it'll smudge everything. It'll smudge and, and it was really pretty. So all kinds of different And if by choose. chance, sir, you're watching this video, why did you choose mushrooms? That's very interesting to me. Maybe I'll email him and ask. Yeah. So, okay, so that was just our first little shopping spree on Main Street. Ooh, ooh. And, and there, can I just tell y'all, there are a ton of shops. That night, we had quite the change of plans and we booked something very spontaneous. Any guesses? While you mull that over, take a look at our yummy day two breakfast. My favorite part was the chocolate chip banana bread. So, so good. <laughs> And then we started our drive. Have you guessed where we're going yet? Yeah, we booked tickets to Hershey Park. We decided to take the day off and just have some fun. But we have some super cool things in the works with Hershey Park. It's gonna be taking us back here very, very soon. Whoa! Hey, there's trees! I don't know. Oh, yeah, that cool thing. Oh, oh no, there's a train right there! You wanna ride the train? Yes. We are at Hershey Park! We're at Hershey Park! Woohoo! That's a baby train. Oh no, it's not. Okay. We're gonna ride the train now. Oh, that feels good. Mm.
smells good. Oh, Lori. Oh, it's just the smell of it. fun field day we went back to Alden House to freshen up for our dinner at Appalachian Brewing Company. Just like everywhere we ate in Lidditz, we had an amazing experience. You'll see more on them soon, so make sure you subscribe. And then it was our last day. We woke up to another yummy breakfast, and this time the star of the show was that chocolate zucchini bread. Oh boy, it was so good. We had a fairly short drive to our next destination, so we decided to do some more perusing around downtown. I'm getting a mug that I definitely don't well, need. We're gonna go back, so. We also stopped into the Julius Sturgis Pretzel Factory for some locally made pretzels. Super crunchy and delicious. Then it was time to make our way to the edge of town to visit Cake and Cup Bake Shop. The lovely people at Tomato Pie told us about this super cool, all-female operated bakery, so we had to pop in, and let me tell you, we were not disappointed. We are just going to wait 12 years. We have a house in October. It's Joni B and Jenny B and we are finishing up our trip in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. It has been a wonderful, wonderful time. It really has. One of the best. Three nights in the amazing Alden, Alden House. House. Oh my gosh, if you guys are looking for a relaxing place just to get away and to relax and enjoy an amazing small town, that's your place. Um, wonderful wonderful and it's right on Main Street oh yeah so you're close to everything all the adorable shops and restaurants and we've eaten at three of those incredible restaurants Black Worth mm. by Fire Grill so good tomato pie cafe mm -hmm. so good and last night the Appalachian Brewing Company so good Woo! man and I hate to leave my um, waistband I mean you guys already know it's a little chub chips but it is even getting chubbier and if that didn't, just top it all off. Icing on the cake was today. We got to go visit the amazing, lovely ladies at Cake and Cup Bake Shop and Coffee. They have their own special blend of coffee. They make all of their syrups. 
it is just a delight so good and what a great place to come visit take something with you if you're in this area and you don't get your cakes from here what are you doing their cakes are gorgeous I I've know. never laid my eyes on something so beautiful I know. cake for I know I, I picked one out and I was like oh man I wish I had something to have that cake at maybe your wedding whenever maybe. someday and it's all, all woman owned and operated business over here so it's a full women team which is so cool yeah so you can call them up tell them what you want and they can do it. They made a Titanic. They made a Titanic in a Venom cake, which is crazy. They just did that one last week. Mm -hmm. So they're very talented. <sighs> and they make delicious pastries. And they sent us away with some yummy, yummy things. So, ooh, and look at this chocolate chip. Cookie. How about you take a bite of that and try it out? Okay. Oh my gosh. And they also, on by? no, I'm gonna have the bite of this. The chocolate espresso scone mm. here. Mm. Mm. So good. So mm -mm. good. Mm. I'm having a moment. Mm -hmm. I'm a moment. So come on over here if you're in this area. If you're in this area or if you want a great trip to just come have a great time visit an amazing small town local shops local restaurants amazing b and you need to schedule your your visit here um, so much to do you can stay right here and go to other places just come back for the night time oh it's so good and the people here are lovely they're adorable they're really just nice wonderful people they talk to you when you're just like on the street or you're walking up somewhere which is so weird I mean we love that small town but are you having a moment now I am I love this scum so mm. thank you for joining us while we eat Jennifer calls that something that's a mukbang a mukbang it's a mukbang before we make the drive to Santa Whistle yeah to fish in the lows we're very excited so Thank you so much for watching this guy. Support your local businesses. Support your local shops, your local restaurants. Go get you a scone. Go get you a scone, yeah. yeah. Well, might not be as good as this one, huh? Probably not. Yep. Yep. Oh, we're gonna go with that yet! Oh my god! And then we were on the road again. This time to the teeny tiny town of Catawissa, Pennsylvania. Videos on that coming soon. And if you want to see more videos like this and keep up with our crazy adventures, subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button, y'all.